Hey y'all, Glenn here with Southern Fried Cards. And I want to thank you for watching the first episode of a new series I'm doing called Beyond the Cards. The men on the 1955 baseball card. Okay? So first off what we'll do is we'll cover all the Hall of Famers in the set that I own. That are now in the green binder. Then we'll cover the ones that I don't have in the green binder. And we'll see how it goes from there. Some of these guys that aren't Hall of Famers have got really interesting life stories, so we'll, we'll touch on a few of those as well, and uh, if you guys keep liking the series, well then we'll keep on going. There's 320 cards in this set, so that's a lot of stories. But uh, anyway, let's uh, enough of this, let's get into the first episode of this series. It will be over Mr. Hoyt Wilhelm, he's the number one card in this set. And also the first Hall of Famer in this set. So let's turn this around and get to the talking about the card and about Mr. Hoyt Wilhelm. Hoyt Wilhelm, the knuckleball legend. In the annals of Major League Baseball, certain pitchers stand out not just for their skill, but for their unique contributions to the game. One such figure is Mr. Hoyt Wilhelm affectionately known as Old Sarge. So let's delve into the life and career of this legend knuckleball pitcher. Let's start with his early life and military service. Hoyt Wilhelm was born on July 26, 1922 in Huntsville, North Carolina, the sixth of 11 children. Growing up in rural North Carolina, Wilhelm's journey to the baseball stardom was anything but conventional. He signed with the New York Giants in 1942, but soon after World War II called him to service. Hoyt served in the United States Army during the European Theater, where he was wounded in the Battle of the Bulge and earned the Purple Heart, carrying a piece of shrapnel in his back for the rest of his life. So, after returning from the war, Wilhelm resumed his baseball career making his Major League debut in 1952 at the age of 29. He quickly gained attention for his mastery of the knuckleball, a pitch renowned for the unpredictable movement. Throughout his career, Hoyt played for several teams including the New York Giants, Baltimore Orioles, Throughout his career, Hoyt played for several teams including the New York Giants, the Baltimore Orioles, and Chicago White Sox, among others. His achievements included winning the ERA title in 1959 and being selected to five All-Star Games. Off the field, Hoyt Wilhelm was a devoted family man, married to Peggy, and raising three children in Sarasota, Florida. Beyond baseball, he enjoyed hunting and fishing, hobbies that reflected his upbringing and his personal interests. In 1985, Hoyt Wilhelm was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, the first relief pitcher to receive such an honor. His legacy extends beyond his Hall of Fame induction. Wilhelm's impact on the game, particularly his mastery of the knuckleball, continues to influence pitchers to this day. After, retiring, after retirement from baseball, Hoyt remained active in coaching and mentoring, contributing to the sport he loved until his passing on August 23, 2002. Hoyt Wilhelm's journey from a small town in North Carolina to the pinnacle of baseball greatness is a testament to his resilience, skill, and dedication. His story reminds us of the sacrifices made by athletes during the wartime and the enduring legacy they leave on the sport they love. Join me in celebrating the life and career of Hoyt Wilhelm, a true pioneer of the knuckleball and a legend of Major League Baseball. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories of baseball's greatness, greatest players.